authority to use his name and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John chapter 14 verses 13 to 14. When we say that Jesus gave us the power of attorney to use his name, many don't understand what this means. The term, power of attorney, refers to a legal authorization that gives a designated person the power to act on one's behalf. It therefore means that every request you make is as though Jesus were the one making it, since you're making it in his name. The Apostle John, in some of his writings, vividly captures the words of Jesus that further elucidates the legal authority we've been given in his name. For example, in John chapter 14 verses 13 to 14, Jesus said, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Here, the Lord was talking about making a demand in his name. That's extraordinary. It's like what Paul tells us in Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. There's another beautiful reference in John chapter 16 verse 23. It says, And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. When he said, And in that day, the Lord was referring to the day of the New Deal the day of salvation that he came to consummate. That day began from his resurrection. So, we're in that day, where we use and live in his name. If you've ever wondered why all over the world, we use the name of Jesus in prayer, this is the reason. So, right now, use his name to effect changes in your world. He told us we could, and you should, address issues in your nation, your physical body, your workplace, school etc., in his name and expect a change. Prayer, Confession Dear Father, thank you for giving me the power of attorney to use the matchless name of Jesus to effect changes, and control circumstances. In the name of Jesus, I speak peace over the nations. I declare that the gospel has free course in the nations of the world. I walk in victory and dominion today and always because I live in, and do all things through the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Further study Mark chapter 16 verses 17 to 18. Acts chapter 3 verse 16. John 16 24.